There are two more ways of, um, of how to copy parts. Let me delete these first. Let's open that one and um, let's add the hide again. You can go to the structure menu and choose repeat parts. This dialog comes up and it'll ask you how many copies you want. Now before we had three copies so we could either stick with three or we put down seven copies which would take us all the way up to bar nine. So let's type in seven copies. You can also left mouse click for the numbers to go up, down or right mouse click for the numbers to go up. But let's just stick with seven copies and here you've got the option to create real copies, normal parts or ghost copies. So let's leave them as normal parts for now. Seven copies of the first bar here. I'll delete those again. Select that part. Now I'm going to press Ctrl K. You might have seen that here in the structure menu. You can see the shortcut to repeat parts on my version is Ctrl K. The reason why I'm saying on my version is because you can customize these shortcuts. We'll talk about that one later on. And I'm going to repeat this part by using the keyboard shortcut Control K and this time I'll do the ghost copies and we we end up with seven copies with italic writing which would always play the same as what's in there. The copying process is not limited to copying just one part. You can copy multiple parts at the same time even um, like different parts into different tracks and things like that. Let me quickly build up this little groove with, with a bass line and maybe a piano line so we've got a few more parts and a few more tracks to play around with and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll show you what I mean. So what I need is a new track. I'll double click down there. I want a different VST instrument. I'll go for the VST instruments. Let me choose the universal sound module again. The output needs to be set to universal sound module. This part is this track is selected, so my piano movements would go through that part there. Now I want a bass sound. I've recorded drums before in that part. Now I'd like a bass sound. I'll rename it as well. I'll open the inspector. Go for patch name, bass, a fingered bass would be fine for now. And I'll change the octave on the keyboard again to create bassier sounds. I only need one bar phrase and I'll keep it simple, I'll just play something in D minor. It. Let's create another track. Now this time I want to um, show you another way to create new tracks and this is by copying a track down and um, by doing so you, you keep the same track what you've had up here and you just create a copy of the track. You press Alt on the keyboard, you pick up the track and you just move it down like that. Now we've got the same output which is good but now I'd like it to be a different instrument so I'm rename the track to let's say guitar Oops. guitar and now I need to choose a different channel channel 3 this is going to be back a, a piano sound again. Quite like the sound. I may as well leave it. Now let's go with the guitar sound. Guitar. And I'll go with an um, electric guitar clean. Okay, now this was my old bass part which I won't need anymore, so I'll delete that one. And I'll record a very simple part in D minor on the guitar. Ok, 
Okay, that's all I need for now. And back to copying parts, I'll make this a little bit smaller. Let's go down to there. I'll select all of these parts and now I've got all the options. I can press Control V, Control V, Control V. Sorry, obviously, or of course, I've pressed Control C first to make the actual copy. Control C and then Control V, Control V, Control V. What I'm doing is I'm doing the same as what you find in the edit menu. I do a copy, I make a copy of the parts, Control C, and then I'll do paste control V. Okay. I could also select the parts and press control K to repeat selected parts and just go with this one. I'll do the same trick again and show you how fast you can do this one. Control, sorry, obviously you need to have parts selected. Select the parts, control K and press return. To select the parts, you can also press Ctrl A on the keyboard, which is a typical Windows Select All feature. You have the same thing in Word. Select All is here. And the shortcut for Select All is Ctrl A. Ctrl K and return. There's the part. So this works with selected parts as well. Now let's delete some of those, just for the fun of it and create a slightly strange part configuration. Let's select those four bars there, for example. One, two, three, four, seven parts within four bars. And if you now do Control C and Control V, you create copies of this whole constellation of parts. The same applies to doing Control K. Let's do Let's do th two more maybe. And then we end up with two more of those part constellations. Let's delete, let's delete those parts and all of these parts here. And move these parts down to there. And now I'll press the Alt key and I'll create a copy of those parts further down. And as you can see, it created identical tracks to what I had before. I'll do the same trick again. I press Alt and end up with, with a new set of tracks. And if I press Control, the same thing happens apart from that I've now got ghost copies with the italic writing again. Obviously, if they all play at the same time, it's going to be a lot louder. And if you want to, then you could then just mute the parts that you don't want and you end up with the same constellation of tracks again. Now this takes us to um, deleting the tracks. If I try to delete this track here and press backspace, it'll give me an error, like a, a warning message, and it'll ask whether I really do want to delete the track because there was some information in the track. So let's say yes. Now I'm going to delete these two parts here. So I've got an empty track. And now if I press delete, the track will be deleted straight away without the warning message. This one, this track here, delete track, let's do yes, okay. And now if I've got a few parts and I press backspace, obviously it'll delete the parts first and now delete the track. So you could quickly press delete yeah, delete, yes, delete, yes, delete, yes, to delete your tracks.